Right now, we are in Breckenridge, Colorado because one of us is getting engaged. It all started with everyone at the airport and my boyfriend, Austin, purposely making us miss our flights because he had a super Christmassy day planned. Now that I think about it, I actually don't know when he had time to change those flights. Anyways, we eventually got to Colorado. We all met at the same house, except for my brother's girlfriend, K-Cup, which I actually don't know how she got there. And then it was time for our first ever family roast. And I'm not talking about no Christmas roast. I'm talking about roasting each other with them jokes, baby. I was gonna say you looked like a slim jim going to the gym but i decided the cinnamon stick was more accurate oh. colby i would wish you the best but you've already had it oh. yeah that was definitely a little interesting from there we chopped down our first ever christmas tree did a ton of christmasy things around it my brother noah set my brother colby up on six blind upward dates which honestly i don't know how those worked out really either my boyfriend austin asked my dad like a ton of questions about marriage i still gotta ask him about that actually all of you found out carol and caleb are the ones getting engaged the boys race with 700 santas caleb brought the engagement ring to light up breckenridge and everyone i mean everyone including carol thought that was going to be her engagement moment and our Christmas tale resumes here. The most beautiful day in Breckenridge and also our last day on this trip, which means Carol is getting engaged today. Speaking of Carol, I actually have no idea where she is. Do you? I should probably go find her. See y'all later. Before we get into today's video, do not forget to like and subscribe. Also, we have a $10,000 giveaway in partnership with the dating app Upward. If you can guess how many times we say the word Upward in all of our holiday vlogs across all channels, you could be getting $10,000 this holiday season. Hey guys, I think I'm stuck. I'm really excited for her. How do you think that's gonna affect uh, your relationship with her though? Like, obviously, you know, things are gonna change. You guys have been best yeah. friends since you were ninth grade. Yeah, honestly, I think that that's the scary part for me because obviously, like, me and Carol, ever since we were young, we've talked about getting married. Like, both of us wanna be married so bad. And I know that in order to step into your new favorite seasons, you have to transition. But that transition just, like, sucks sometimes. Like, that unknown of, oh my gosh, like, am I gonna be able to see my best friend? Or, like, I'm not her best friend anymore. It has to be him. Like, that's that's kind of like a weird thing that I'm trying to wrap my head around, I guess. The thing with chapters in life is like, it's not really sad because it's over. It's just like, it's because the chapter's done. You have all these memories and you know, things will never quite be the same. But honestly, in order to like get to those new memories, like things have to change. Kind of just want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> Carol, Carol, Carol's the one that's uh, making it happen for us, but. No, and it's funny, Dad, because I literally always knew it was going to be her. She was the one that was going to start dating last and get engaged first. Because she's just like that. She's so loyal. And I knew the second that she met somebody, she was going to like, no, she was gonna marry them right off the bat. But she literally has never even had a boyfriend. I know. It's all surreal to me. Like you meet a guy on a, like a gaming app, like who? It's just who a God thing. on a gaming app, right? It's just a God thing. Cause the, the odds of it happening are so impossible. I literally have asked her so many times, just being her best friend, like making sure, do you have peace about this? Are you sure you want to go this fast? Just make sure. And like every single time she says that the Lord has confirmed, she's like literally giving me examples of ways that he's confirmed. That's like the most solid foundation to move on, you know? Well, she's 24, right? Yeah. I got married at 19 I remember my dad said to me like I was just going through the motions like getting ready to get married and my dad say, said to me do you know that you know that you know and it was like <gasps> that's so stressful <laughs> and I thought about it I was like do I know that I know that I know it freaked me out for a minute but in the end life's not really not a feeling it's a decision every day you get up and you do that so as long as they do that I think they're gonna make it you always have the best advice. I'm here for you. Always and forever, period. That's on period. But now we got to get to it. Let's see what's gonna happen. Here we go. Oh my you gosh. Ready I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. expect me to be the first one to get married? Yes. Not me. No. Oh, but you did. I did. You did. I didn't. I, I thought didn't. it was probably going to be Allie no. and Austin. My guess was Allie and Austin, Kick Up and Noah, mm -hmm. then Carol, then me, then Noelle, <laughs> then Colby. <laughs> oh, Michaela. <laughs> No, I wasn't in that. No, I wasn't in that. No, because you have to think. Michaela has a man of God coming for her. Wait, hold on. <laughs> we'll talk about it another time. Another time. Another time. Another time. Having very mixed emotions because 
I just love Carol so much. And I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy that she waited on God's timing and that he really gave her a guy that really loves her and loves God. And me and Carol, literally, we've been there for each other through everything. Like, every season has been the same. So kind of being in like the season that's not the same is a little tough. A part of me feels a little bit like I'm losing my best friend. I know that's not the case. I'm trusting that the best is yet to come because I know that it is with God. Don't Emmy, you are Carol's second best friend, as you guys say. It's I feel like day. we're sending off our daughter. No, I literally can't even look at her. Nobody understands about you. Know. That's why I was excited I to talk to you because I'm so happy for her, but a little bit of me feels I like know. I'm like losing her forever. I know. It's like really, really, really bittersweet. But it's it, like, so bittersweet. But it like hurts in your heart. It hurts. It hurts like, so deep, bro. <gasps> She was so confused why I got on the other gondola, but she has a gold one right now. It's filled with a ton of pictures of her and Caleb, and she looks so excited. I have no idea where to get out, but I guess we'll find out eventually. My spicy Carol, my Latina baddie mommy, will you do me the honor of being my wife? <gasps> Did you guys get that on camera? He just called me mommy. Yes! <laughs> I went in my home life for this moment. Dear God, thank you so much for this awesome day that you've given to us, Lord. Mm -hmm. God, just to be able to be here, Lord, everyone we love, God, is in good health, Lord. We're all here together, Lord, sharing this special moment, God. We're just so thankful for how good that you are, Lord. God, we just thank you so much for Carol, Lord, and what a blessing she's been to my life. God, she's literally the best friend that I always prayed for and asked for and a sister, Lord. God, I thank you so much for how faithful you are, Lord, to close doors, God, that we want open. Mm -hmm. God, because yes. you have the best ones for us. Lord, and I thank you so much that Carol was faithful to remain in your will, God, so that she can be in this relationship with Caleb, Lord, and experience all you ever had for her. God, I thank you so much for her, Lord, and what you're doing in her life, and same with Caleb, Lord. God, I pray that today marks the first day of forever, Lord, God, as they're making a commitment to each other, Lord. God, and stepping forward into what you have for them, Lord. God, that you would continue to bless them, Lord, that your hand of favor would be upon them, Lord, and that you'd use them together in a mighty way. We just love you so much. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. I'm so excited to celebrate you. Are you ready? Yes. Love you, Carol. <laughs> Ali, ski <you> down. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Why did she leave me? She told me she was gonna stay with me. All right, guys. I am on the ski lift. I just ditched Carol back there because I gotta go meet the rest of the family. She has no idea at the top of the mountain, Caleb is waiting for her to propose. This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. I'm a little nervous to get off this ski lift because I'm so bad at skiing, but I guess we'll see what happens. Carol, you're my best friend, my balea, and my little fish. And I'm so happy to be here to celebrate your engagement. I would say that we talked about our engagements our entire friendship, but honestly, I don't think we've ever talked about our engagements one time. But we have prayed for our husbands together, and I'm so thankful that you waited on God's time. And Caleb is above and beyond everything that you've ever dreamed for, everything that I prayed for you. Carol, you're amazing. I cannot wait for this next chapter that God's leading us into. Although there's gonna be so much change and transition, I know that it's gonna be for the best, and I could not be more excited to celebrate you today. I love you so, so much. And tell Caleb that every single week we get to have a sleepover. I don't care what he says. Goodbye. There you go. Thank you. Our last moments with Carol, not an engaged woman. My last time having a bare finger. No, oh, seriously, you pull me on slip. Pull the bottom. You pull the back. Oh, go, go.
Merry Christmas! I know you guys are dying to see the rest of Carol's engagement it's vlog. It's amazing. It is so incredible and it is living on her channel literally right now. So y'all can head over and go watch that video. Besides that, thank you guys so much for being a part of such an unforgettable trip. We literally will never forget this. I mean, it's living on YouTube. No, it's been absolutely amazing. There's been so much effort and time put into these episodes and we hope you love them as much as we do. It's been incredible. This Christmas season, honestly, was one for the books. I don't think I've ever done so many Christmas activities or I've gotten so much frostbite in my fingertips in my entire life. I know, it's been amazing. And comment down below if you think we should do this again next year. I think so too. I honestly have been loving like doing like this series with everybody, not just me and you. Like I think it's really cool seeing the different sides of us that our group brings out. Being able to have the whole family in it and our whole friend group in it has been absolutely amazing. It feels like the real life friends. No, it really does. But guys, thank you so, so very much for being here, for sharing, for liking, subscribing, the whole nine yards. You guys are absolutely amazing. We love you so, so very much. We love y'all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're still here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching, but don't forget, we're switching YouTube channels every yes. single episode. And you're going to be so lost and miss some of the best moments if you don't watch all the episodes across all the channels. So make sure to check out these videos for the entire story and... Merry Christmas!